from here. Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, April 27th of 2019. It is uh, a Saturday. Well, Saturday. Street. I'm just concerned about cousins who did not come a flight today. They have a seizure disorder and haven't picked up the phone in several hours. Six on Sammy Temple, hold this call. And uh, that was uh, San Diego. <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's the San Diego City. It's the San Diego City Police and Fire Dispatch. And I, I just woke up from a short nap. And uh, so I turned on, turned that on my cell phone. So it's this shooting reported near San Diego area synagogue. I guess the medical center... Uh, says it is expecting as many as four patients, including one trauma patient. So uh, I'm using the Blue Yeti microphone here. I've stopped, by the way, paused the uh, San Diego area. I've stopped the San Diego police and fire dispatch. Uh, using the Blue Yeti, I'm returning the other microphone. It worked. I just could not get the volume cranked up. Uh, probably on, I don't know, say, I don't want to say there's a problem with my audio chip in this, or I don't know what the thing is, just kind of weird. So now I guess I have to decide, do I want to continue to use the Blue Yeti? Let me know. Uh, I'm ready to go back to the headset, which definitely works. The microphone on the headset, uh, you know, works, works well. Uh, looks like NRA is having a little bit of a internal dispute. Looks like it's pretty nasty. Oliver North is, uh, well, was, I think it's over. I think he's, he's being kicked out of, or he's, they made him a president, the president of the uh, 
NRA for a year, and uh, I guess he wanted to turn it into a it's an honorary position, and uh, I guess he wanted to turn it into a paid position. But anyway, I read this thing last or a few hours ago before I took my little nap. It's just a, the NRA is having some problems. He's accused uh, it's just, you know, he's accusing, uh, well, who cares, you know. A major shakeup at one of the country's most powerful lobbying groups. I, for years, was a member of the National Rifle Association back, oh, well, in the 60s, I think. Um, and it was, uh, it was a good organization. And uh, then they went, uh, I've talked about that, then I think they went crazy. Uh, and now they've, you know, they've gone, for, they, when they went from crazy to insane to what would be the level above insane? Stark raving mad or whatever. But in the beginning, I loved their uh, magazine, American Rifleman. They had good information in it. The NRA used to do a lot of, you know, good. I think they probably still do some with their uh, training courses and things like that that they do. But I watched them go. You know, I, I was a subscriber and I was happy and, and, uh, I saw the you know the, the direction that they that they went and uh, now they are responsible for tremendous. Wonder how many organizations you know are like that. How many how many organizations are good and then they go off the rails. Well, I guess definitely there's some churches. I guess with churches, though, you'd have to put it in, you know, like, have to put it in a time frame. And maybe also it'd be, you know, of course you have churches, churches, you know, that uh, convince their members to commit suicide so they'll be with God or that uh, a spaceship is coming to take them away or whatever but you know I, I guess maybe that should be called a church maybe maybe it's just a cult maybe it's insanity I don't know but what organizations have done have done uh, well I guess you could do that with countries you know uh, I guess you could have countries that are okay for their people and do something but then go off and start attacking and uh, and then maybe they come back on the path you know well like Germany of course you know Germany wasn't you know yeah Austro you know Austro Hungro Hungary Empire I mean you have you know and then they then of course you have you know, the Reformation, you know, wars between the, you know, you have the Catholic Church and you have, you know, that uh, Martin Luther and he has good points. He was, you know, mentally unhinged, but uh, who isn't, you know? Uh, he had good points and then, of course, you have, you know, Catholics killing Christians and uh, or Catholics killing Protestants and Protestants killing Catholics and both sides <clears throat> committing horrible, you know, atrocities. But taking countries out of the thing because there you have the, you know, and of course you have countries colonizing other you know, European countries colonizing, you know, Africa and Asia and things. But what, 
Well, let's take the United States. Well, here you have, of course, here we had uh, early major, you know, as industry and things were developed, you had the, you had the railroad, which was very important, did a, did a lot for the United States. But we had, we needed labor for the railroad and we had Chinese people come over here and we used them and a lot of them died, you know, blasting through mountains and all that type of stuff. And uh, anyway, they came over and when the railroad was all done, it, after that, it was like, uh, get the hell out of here. I'm trying to think of companies. Well, you have the what you have. So we have the, the in the early days the railroads. Uh, so you had gold mining. I don't know. How did I? Let's hit. I'm going to hit the play button here to see what's going on. Say, I think the whole thing is. Uh, probably over with but I think if you were listening you probably heard him uh, an officer asked where the news media was supposed to park you know the uh, and they gave directions for that so let's see what I could what could I pull up here Get a little better. Let me click up here and see if you have a timeline or something. They do that sometimes, they have a little running box with a little updating here. I have cable. 2020 Sam 10142 will be asking in their vehicle. I did have eyes on the suspect. How do, where was your husband? My heart is shocked, shocked like any, any, everybody else. This, this community is unbelievable. We are talking about highway, very peaceful place. Everybody knows everybody. It's like a small paper place. And Rabbi Goldstein does things for everybody. And Rabbi Goldstein is such a nice man. He, everybody knows me. He's so friendly. He goes everywhere. And, and why? But the question is why? People are praying. If you have guts, go and fight with people that you have to fight. Don't kill innocent people. And your husband was inside, you said, during it? That's yes. how you found out? Yes. And he's okay, but he's just shocked? He's shocked. And, and what else did you hear from him? What else did he have to say? He, he just, he's shocked, he can't talk, and has high blood pressure, unfortunately. So. I'm hoping that they let him come. They they listen earlier. And your parishioners of the church? Is that, uh, is that, uh, I thought she said he was shot, but she was saying he's shocked that. So he's, you know, apparently suffer from suffering from trauma because of the. Uh, thing. a lot of these shootings and things, people uh, some people collapse, you know, from and then, a lot of these times, uh, people will be running from. You'll see, you know, x number of victims of these situations happen and there'll be a lot of people will be injured running away you know falling down and getting you know uh, well I wonder when that you know I don't think it's a accident that it's a shooting at a synagogue and what do you think provoked the person to do that. It will it will come out. I, I, as I was saying, I don't have uh, well, I can get CNN radio. I guess we all can. I don't know. I haven't checked on but I can get it with uh, 
Alexa, play CNN News. CNN from TuneIn. Online news Alexa, off. And he prayed for peace. And uh, I mean, I respect him even in spite of being injured. He refused to go to a uh, hospital and he spoke. And he finished his speech and he then left to the Yes. And then, uh, what's your first and last name? Sorry, first name is Steve. My last name is Arnold. It's spelled for me. A R N O L D. Thank you very much. Good luck with you. Thank you. Okay, again, that was from our affiliate KUSI interviewing a woman whose husband was inside the community center when this shooting took place. She talked about the rabbi being among the victims, having been shot. We heard that from our affiliate reporter, another affiliate earlier, who also um, reiterated a very similar story having told us that he was shot in the hand, but they both said he continued to try to, in his role as the rabbi, be a leader of this community, trying to calm everybody in the congregation down, as well as the shooter. Police tell us they have one person in custody. They do not believe there is an ongoing threat to the community of Poway, California. We are expecting a briefing from the sheriff's office in just a short time from now. We're staying on top of this story much more after a quick break. What's in store for your business this? So I'm not sure how this uh, works. Oh, I guess it's TuneIn.com. That's where this is. CNN Radio. Uh, premium 30 days. Start a free trial. So... What do I have over here on my start page for TV and radio? Let's see, Amazon, well, it looks like I have Amazon, Netflix, and Hulu, Twit TV, uh, my local uh, National Public Radio live. Let's see, what's this? I think that's Twit also, I believe. Here's Twitch, whatever that is. News, Google, Google News, I guess. <sighs> well, I guess I'll upload this, uh, Gonna back out of here, turn off the cell phone or the turn off that radio feed of the police department, fire department. Um well before I go though, let us go to um YouTube. Let us go to Well, I'm up a couple subscribers. I've had an increase of 20 in the last 28 days. But you know, even if that continues, I'll still only be 780, I mean, 2,780 in, you know, like 30 days. Anyway, my watch time is down 10%. My views are down 18%. 
Uh, my revenue is down 20%. Um, anyway. Videos. Oh, I'm going to upload this video, and of course, I will. Uh, I will turn off the uh, ability to uh, monetize it. I don't want to make any money from, um, you know, the shooting any, you know, the shooting there at the synagogue. Oh, uh, my video yesterday has had 33 views. This video here, which was uh, the day two days ago, has only had nine views. I didn't tag that very well or do anything. I just basically uploaded it. So you don't know what you missed. I don't even know what it, what it was about. Uh, also, this... Uh, Video here before that got 49 views, 69 views, 29 views, 40 views, and uh, this video here got 355 views. You can see most of those have the ability to make money turned off, and I'm the one that turned them off for you know whatever the uh, the nurses playing cards video. Uh, I. Uh, I talked a lot about politics, so I turned that off. The ability to make money from the video. Well, before I end this, let's go to my channel. Very few people, not just me, but very few people actually come to the channel thing. You know, you, you get notified of if you've clicked on the subscribe and if you clicked on the bell, you should. I've heard that YouTube people have said that uh, their subscribers, a lot of them, are not getting uh, notified all of the time. Uh, so, uh, but very few people come to the channel page. Uh, But the YouTuber has the ability to customize it a little bit. I paid to have some, uh, and I don't even know where this video. <laughs> I've got so much crap all over the place. That's the problem. I'm not very organized where it's all centralized. I don't even know where those uh, images are. Uh, but. Uh, Well, I think this shows you here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure which one this is, so I take that back. No, this is it. So, since a day ago, I because I changed this, this video here, if you're not a subscriber, when you come to my, this main page here, you will see this little oh, 43 second video saying, you know, hey, welcome or whatever, please subscribe or something like that. And it shows two views, uh, which indicates to me that only two people have actually come to, you know, th this page. People just, so. Uh, and, you know, the way to have. The way you have to have a successful video and to have a successful, uh, you know, YouTube channel, YouTube has to be the one basically. Well, there may be some exceptions to it. I can't think of any, but YouTube has their coding system or whatever the the guts of the code that controls all this stuff. They have to 
push out your video. They have to, you know, uh, recommend. It has to be, you have to log into YouTube. Okay. Uh, you have to log into YouTube and then have over here on the side or something uh, a video pop up. And then you, because you'll, you'll come there and you'll do a search, you know, you may come here and do a search on uh, perhaps the Dirty Dozen or you do a search for something. Well, you don't have to do a search, but if you have done it, that, if that's what you do, then you'll get recommendations along the side. And if you're on a, if you're on a uh, cell phone, you know, you'll get your recommendations across the bottom of it, stuff like that. So, uh, like I've said before, and believe me, I don't, my videos are not that great. I see some people, man, they do fantastic, uh, you know, videos, um, like this top 10 videos. This guy turns out, I think, one every day. Of course, he has a staff, but he turns out one of this, and plus others. He has other sites, and he turns one of those out every day. Um, but let's say that I spent, let's say I did, let's say I took a week, and I made a really good, you know, video. I'm not sure what that would be, but let's say that I I, uh, I did that, and then I uploaded it. The the regular people that check out my videos, they would see it. There might be, you know, oh, two or three if they was if it was a really good video. There might be two or three, and they might. Uh, email a friend or something or make a comment someplace, you know, hey, check out uh, this guy's video. It's really good. And a few people might check it out. So there could be hidden gems on, you know, you could be looking at YouTube videos here and you could find something maybe really great with very few views um, because it's just, you know, I think people think that, you know, say you're, someplace and you see something and you make a video you'll hear people do that you know you'll see you'll see videos on YouTube perhaps where somebody's you know you know making and something happens somebody falls somebody gets whatever something happens you know or an animal does something you know you know does something cute or bad or whatever and you get the video and you'll hear people saying, oh, did you get it? And the guy will say, yeah, I got it. This will go viral. Nope. <laughs> you know, you upload it or whatever. Now, if you have, like, when I, well, I'm sort of stealthy. I might, nobody goes to my blog. But uh, years ago, I was doing, when I was doing my blog, uh, I was contacted by, somebody in Brazil, I believe it was. And uh, he said, I really like your, your the blog that you do. And could I ask you a few questions for my newspaper that I write for? I'm going to do an article on you. I said, sure. So I answered his, you know, questions, you know, in an email. I don't think I used Skype or anything like that. And then about a week or so later, I had, and I, uh, around that time, I probably had, oh, a hundred people a day went to my blog. And then, bang, I had like 3,000 people came to my blog. And then the next day, it was like, you know, 2,050, and the next day, 2,000, and the next day, 1,000, you know, whatever. And then it, you know, then it just tapered off, so... If you get mentioned, uh, you know, you get mentioned someplace, those kind of things can happen. I've mentioned this before, I'm not going to go into that, but yeah, I had, <clears throat> when I had the blog, the written blog, there was a news article that I 
commented on. I didn't show any pictures. Well, there you know, wasn't any pictures to show. I didn't show any pictures. Or anything. I just it was just a short little blog thing that I. It got indexed just immediately, you know. And for years, I um, would get every day because of the Google search, somebody would search for, you know, a word or a phrase that was in that, and I would get uh, hundreds of searches every day. Of course, they would come, you know, they'd use Google, they'd come to Howard's Notebook, and they'd be there like a few seconds, you know, okay, that's not, there's nothing there I want, and they were gone, they were gone, they were gone, and uh, I, I eventually <clears throat> got so tired of it, I I got a new URL and I started over, you know, I just started over again. I was just tired of it. Uh, most of the, it, it got to the point where most of the uh, people coming to my blog were just coming from that search. They, that outnumbered. Well, what else? There was uh, something else that I talked about in a blog thing and there were I can't remember now what it was it was indexed immediately by Google and I had 3,000 or so people coming for quite a while because of that and I can't remember what that was so I should spend more time with the tags on I'm really tired of doing YouTube videos. I've been doing some 2005. I like doing them, but then on the other hand, uh, on the other hand, I don't. So I don't know. I, I guess I can't stop doing them because I've been blogging every day now. I'm, now I'm doing this a video blog. I've been blogging every day since 1982. First, you know, with first with a bullet a computer bulletin board system. Then moved to the World Wide Web. And I don't think I can stop. Sort of like doing a diary. I I did. I used to do a. Uh, I didn't really think of it as a diary. I forget when I started. Uh, I started by, I think my mother asked me to buy her a, wasn't a diary, daily something. And uh, I love stationery stores. I very rarely go. I love stationery pens, pencils. You know, I've had you know, from the very beginning, I had a Fisher space pen, you know, the type of pen that went into outer space with the astronauts. Uh, I like stationery. I, I like stationery stores where, anyway, I bought my mother uh, every day, you know, for the whatever the year, it had the year on it, you know, embracing on the cover, had a nice cover on it, and then every day was a page. And I got her that, and then I got one for myself. And then every, just about every day, I would put, write down stuff in there. And then I had, after a few years, a stack of those things. And then I had things like a, uh, a wasn't an insurance company, but somebody working for an insurance company. And uh, they sent me a letter a real nasty letter saying, uh, you owe us $550. Our client was out and you ran our client off the road. And uh, if you don't send us, oh, I forget what the exact amount was, $550, we are going to have your driver's license uh, revoked. We're going to, two or three things like that. And of course, I knew I didn't run anybody off the road. And two, they said, they said, you know, they gave the license number of the car of, well, it wasn't the license number of my car. 
but they gave the license number. They um, told the date and the time, location, Kansas City, Kansas, and uh, some other information. I knew I hadn't run me off the road, and I also knew I had not been in Kansas. I lived in Kansas City, Missouri. Right across the Missouri River was Kansas City, Kansas. I did not, I had never been in, well, I hadn't been in Kansas City, Kansas for years and years. Kansas City, Kansas is kind of a shithole, by the way. Uh, so anyway, I went and flipped and opened it up and it told, it told exactly where I was, you know, from that diary and uh, exactly what I had done. So I sent him back a letter. This is before the internet. Sent him back a letter and told him that, you know, I wasn't there. I know where I was on that day and I was wherever it was, you know, and I wasn't there. And uh, I expected an immediate apology from them and a statement that they were not going to attempt to have my driver's license revoked or anything else or here is what I will do if I don't get that from you immediately. Number one, I will contact the uh, state agency that regulates insurance companies. I will, blah, and I forget what it was, you know, I listed like four or five things. And I got an immediate apologize, <laughs> you know, apology from them. Um, my mother, every year I would, after, you know, after I, that first one I got for, Every year I would buy, my, my mother would remind me to be sure and get me a diary, you know. And uh, when she passed away years later from Alzheimer's, you know, she had a stack of those things. And, you know, I had to get rid of her property and all that kind of stuff. And I uh, flipped it through her diary, you know, whatever. And there was just... Some terrible things really said in there. Things that she had not said to me or to anybody, I, I don't, you know. But I flipped through and I thought, no. And I just got rid of all of those without even looking through. You know, I should have looked through every page to see, you know. Maybe she, uh, actually I was going to say, maybe she had won the lottery or something. When she had Alzheimer's, you know, I went over to her, my daughter Hillary actually there at the last Hillary was a godsend Hillary moved in with her and took care of her I didn't have to but anyway when I went over you know when uh, Betty I never called my parents mom and dad or anything like that I called you know my father Jim and I called my mother Betty from from the beginning but I went over and she said ah oh, I've won the lottery, or the Publishers Clearinghouse. I've won Publishers Clearinghouse, and I forget, you know, 10 million. I don't know what they give, you know, and everything. And I said, no, those are just letters that make you look, make it, no, no, I won, I won. I said, no, no. She says, I want to give it to you. And I said, no, you didn't win it, you know. Whatever. And then she said, oh, yeah, yeah. And I said, oh, okay, well, thank you very, you know, thank you very much. And then I left and threw it in the trash, you know. Um, they, there was, I don't know, a 60 minute show or some type of a expose done on Publishers Clearinghouse. Well, I guess for people outside the United States or whatever, Publishers Clearinghouse sell, well, I don't know what they're doing now, <laughs> sells magazines. And, uh, they send out this, you know, and you can click, you know, and you get these at a special price and that kind of stuff. But they also do a thing giving away a whole ton of money and other smaller amounts. And their letters really, I don't know if they still do that or not, they probably do, that advertising that comes out, it'll say right on the envelope, you are a winner. And then, you know, you, get in, you didn't win, you know, you didn't win anything. I mean, somebody wins something, but it's like a lottery. You know, they're sending these things out to, I don't know, 100 million people, all of them saying, you are a winner. And then when you open it up and, you know, okay, this is, here's a winner. And 
my mother subscribed to a few things. My ex mother in law, she also, well, she didn't have Alzheimer's, but she had dementia or something. It wasn't Alzheimer's. But she was convinced also that she had one, and she thought that uh, people had stolen her winnings from the publisher's clearinghouse. She thought that a, a, a car, she looked for a car, they have a car that goes around and when somebody wins a big one or whatever, she had a whole uh, whole thing. But anyway, they did a uh, an expose of how Publishers Clearinghouse worked and how there were like a, a ton of people who were taking advantage of, well, like my ex-mother-in-law, she thought if if she subscribed to some magazines, that would increase her chance to win. Of course, they told you on there, you know, uh, that doesn't increase your chance or whatever. But so she took out a subscription to something for me. She took out a prescri or prescription, I'd say, a subscription for me for at the time my you know wife her you know daughter for the kids uh, I mean you know so anyway uh, thank you for watching this has been sort of a test of this blue yeti if you people have any complaints with the audio then I'll go back to the headset thank you very much for watching